one of these women killed their husband. Only the spaghetti's limp here. Everything else is hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Words to toss around to the boys to make them think you're with it. And this is definitely something that this woman would say, with it. I don't think any of these words were ever real slang words. Ugries? Urgries. Ugries? Explosive underground movies. Paraphysical. Extra physical girls. Well, I thought it was physical with a paraplegic, which is not something you should be ashamed of. 72 ways to jolt a man into loving you again. We suggest you gamble on two, five, or all of the following techniques. Don't kiss him when he walks in the door. Forget his birthday. Stop wearing the dress he gave you. I feel like these are ways to get him to not like you. This is if, if you already love someone. Who the f wrote this? Lay of his land. Map out his erogenous zones and discover his favorite secret hideaways. I think it's the same area for each guy. It's penis. I think every guy likes that area the most. Also the balls. They might like getting kissed on the neck. That feels nice sometimes. And depending on the guy to take. <laughs> Your best bet is to try a little butt boogaloo. Next time he's about to have an orgasm. Bugaloo? What's that? But, a little butt bugaloo? Oh, this is about butt play. Grab that crease where his butt meets his thighs and pull him into you with each thrust. Wow, I didn't know, I never read one of these. That's really actually, this girl's a PhD. 2014 tips. When a guy tells you he doesn't do condoms, say something like, that's too bad. I don't do guys who don't do condoms. Yeah, or just say, like, but we have, you have to wear a condom. Obviously. I don't understand why you gotta be cute with it. Not everything's a joke. Turn it off, ladies. Oh, this is about having sex in a lot of different places. Having sex on a sailboat. Bored the pleasure craft. Oof, oh, definitely wouldn't say that. That's number one. Have your first mate lie on his back, grab some rope, and tie his wrist to the life rail. This is so much work. If a guy takes you on a sailboat, you're having sex on that sailboat, because he owns a sailboat. What about role play? What about pretending you're on a sailboat? You don't actually have to do all this shit. If he picks a place nicer than a sports bar, it's probably a date. If it's a restaurant with tablecloths and candles, it's probably a date. If we're going outside, it's a date. If I left my house and put on clothes, it's a date. If you're just coming over to my house and we're gonna play Mario Kart and do drugs, it's a date. They're all dates. Nah, it makes sense. So for decades, they just been like, don't be yourself. Here's some tricks you can pull off. And then now we wonder why we have trouble talking to each other. <laughs>